Hey guys, Darth Glork here, back with part 3 of my Dragon Age Origins Season 2 playthrough. Um, so last time, we uh, went through our, char our character's origin story, and we went through all of the wilds, and now we are at Ostagar, having just completed our assignments, and, uh, and we're back. So we have some things to turn in before we talk to... Uh, Duncan or anybody. First things first, take care of the, of the Mabari, then we will go claim that chest. The Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Is this the, is this the flower you're looking for? Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Hey, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. Perfect. He looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Uh, how long before there's an improvement? A day, maybe two. There's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. You think that's possible? Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Let's go. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Hell yeah. As an elf, I'm all about the wildlife. It is hilarious to me that last episode I stabbed that guy through the bars and just told, stole the key. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that was a thing. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't recall ever seeing that before. <laughs> so wild. Anyway, a whole bunch of really cool mage stuff, which will be useful for uh, later. Useful for later when we have a mage. Hello again. Is there something in it? All right. Well, I need you to buy my junk, which I don't have any. Oh, okay. Well, really, first we should go through this, uh, because I picked up a lot, a lot of goods. So, spirit resist, or no, it's cold resist, and then willpower for these two respectively. All right. And then, no, oh, it's a strength helmet. That would be better for Alistair. At its there. It is a heavy helmet, though. If there was a light one, I, or a medium one. There you go. Um, there's a medium one. I would prefer that. Same level of armor, but it does give him plus two attack. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay, you can just have that one, bro. I think that's fine. These ones are not it. Th that is, that is not it. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So these are heavy. I kind of like him in medium, for at least for now. Go ahead and ditch the heavy leather armor, though. I finally got a set for Liliana when we get her. <clears throat> um, medium boots, which we don't need. Uh, of course, I'm saving the boots and then the Dalish gloves for the waifu. And you're not wearing a necklace, so willpower or cold resist? You can have cold resist, I guess. Okay, and as far as all of this garbo goes, so you're the only one with shield, so... I uh, don't need that. There's a Dalish shield. Oh, it's a really good shield. That's tier 5. That's actually not a bad shield at all. Hold on to that for now. We don't... We can check the bow. Um, so this one does more damage. Oh, it is a tier higher. Yeah, it does, it's just a, just a little bit better. Alright, so we can get rid of the scout's bow, because now we have a better bow. And now this we can compare. So that's tier 2. This is tier 3. Less damage... Much higher crit on his stuff. Better arm penetration on this. Yeah, I think so. I think this is not better. Of course, this was only saving it. Yeah, it's only tier one, but the only two handed person we're going to get is the temporary guy, so we can just get rid of that. He doesn't, of course, need a two handed weapon. Yeah, we can get rid of this because I'm only holding on to so many useless items at a time. <clears throat> and as far as this stuff goes, tier 2, this is tier 1. So the Ash Warrior Axe is much less. The Darkspawn War Axe, is the, there's one less dexterity, which is less of a big deal for Alistair, obviously, by quite a bit. So it's both tier 2, less damage, um, higher crit though, much higher armor penetration. Of course, there's a better, little bit better strength modifier, better armor penetration. I actually think it's better than what he's wearing, than what he's using. And we can go ahead and get rid of the Ash Warrior and the Warden Longsword. And so I have these daggers, which I should look at for... Oops. I should look at for me. Yeah, they're better. Okay. So we can go ahead and equip the this and compare to my offhand. Ooh, the Darkspawn gives me a minus two dexterity. Not good. Okay, so I don't want to use that. Uh, my off 
offhand, though. Same thing I'm using. So we can get rid of one of those. I don't need that many copies of it. But at least one of the daggers was an improvement. One of them was an honest-to-god improvement. And, of course, I don't care about those. And I'm already wearing a necklace, which is spirit resist versus willpower. But it doesn't really matter. It's very early on. There we go. Got rid of some things. Hello again. Is it? Let me... Okay. Buy the junk, please. There we go. Made a lot of money off that. Suddenly we're not looking so poor anymore. Okay. Win. Back again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, moving on. So, Duncan, we're back. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Uh, now will you tell us what this ritual's about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. Uh, is that why the joining is so secret? If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go, then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. I don't then think you, you you actually want to know. Alistair, take them to the old temple. I don't think you actually want to know, honestly. I, th I think you'd probably be better off not knowing. You should have stayed home, Jory. You should have stayed home. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Uh, okay. uh, let's see. Calm down, there's nothing we can do about it now. Well, I don't know, I kind of like the idea of going with this one. Are all humans such cowards? I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. Fool. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. They should have warned him. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Uh, will you both shut up? Yes, yeah, sir, knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... Those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Hmm. Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive. And those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining. But these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Mm -hmm. Davith, step forward. Too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am 
sorry. Horse shit you are. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Literally if I had any other choice. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Stunned that you killed a man that had a wife. I still can't believe you killed Sir Jory. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. Bullshit. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. The hell he did. It me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Interesting. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Very well. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Right. You're a son of a bitch. Duncan, you know that? He's like, he warned there was no turning back, as were you all. That is like the most lawyer-ass answer I've ever heard. It's like, oh, I warned him. You're like, okay, like, um, I guess legally, technically, you did warn him, I guess. But like, like, the second you found out, if he had a wife and child on the way, you should have like, I don't, you should have, you should have been honest with him. Like, it, it's incredibly not cool. It's incredibly wrong, in my opinion, to just not, to, to, to not tell you, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, it's just, I think it's very not cool. Should I get lockpicking myself and then just, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll just spec into lockpicking. That way it doesn't feel like it was a waste. More daggers? Good lord. Okay, um, offhand weapons. So these regular daggers are the same as what I'm using, so we can dump both of those. And I'm using one of these. I can save those for the waifu, though. This is the fancy blade, which this one is much worse. Wild's bow is tier three. The longbow is better, though. Way higher range, higher damage, higher armor penetration. Wow, so this wild's bow is much worse than the longbow. And this is a tier one versus tier two. Obviously, they gave me all their stuff, so I'm just having to sort through it. Okay, and these are some cured stuff. Uh, they are cured, but they don't have the bonus of dexterity, which I think is very good. So, I think I'd rather get rid of those. And then this is the mediums, which What's-His-Face was wearing, so we can dump that. I'm keeping that... And the boots give plus three defense, and these are just a little more armor, not worth it, and of course that's that. And so let's see, this is this versus this, so just a little bit higher, but it gains almost an extra point. So this actually is much better for the that, that's the medium armor, and we're saving that for mages. Warden's Oath, two constitution versus spirit resist, I'll take it. Nice. Alright, upgrades. Anyway, yeah, like, the second the second Duncan found out that he, like, he... Because there's no way he didn't know, right? So, like, if he found out that the dude had a wife and child, he should have told him, like, uh, you wouldn't be suitable to be a, a Grey Warden, you know? But he knew, and he still let him join. Like, I, and then, you know, knowing he has a wife and child, as if there's not any other candidates that don't have any ties that could, that could make it better. Like, 
I just I think it's wrong. I think he's I think he is wrong. That's that I think it's wrong. I feel like you without divulging secrets, you could have told him, like, you know, like you're a great warrior, nothing but respect, but I don't think you're cut out to be a great warden. Like, you know, and I can't tell you why. Like he could have done that, but he didn't. That's why he's that's why I don't like him. Logan, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Uh, Didn't have a choice, really. I suppose none of us do. But every Grey Warden is needed. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Uh, I'll do my best, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Mage... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. I think that is right there. I think that was when he, uh, maybe earlier, but it's when he considered betraying the king. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the king's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Uh, I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. Uh... You have some odd ideas about the king. I happen to be quite fetching of dress. Hmm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. Sounds easy enough. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. What happens? What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Uh, I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. May he watch over us all. 
Alright, um, Brochacho did some leveling. Alright, uh, you need constitution in like a really bad way, so. Um, so obviously going for sword and shield. But, I'm kind of thinking about going up in this one, like this kind of line first, because threaten, of course, gets people to enemies to attack him. Um, the Warrior's Unwavering Courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resist, and mental resist, as well as a bonus to crit chance that increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that the warrior is engaging. And then Death Blow, every time the warrior fells an enemy, the end of the battle seems closer at hand, restoring a portion of the warrior's stamina. So, that top line is very, very good, for, especially for a shield and sword warrior. Very, very good. So, work on that. And of course, I dumped that whole thing into health, because Homeboy needs health. He's a warrior, he's the tank, he's going to be drawing aggro, I need him to be survivable. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Oh, it occurs to me. I, I, don't, I don't even think we're supposed to be over here. <laughs> nope, it was just habit. I was on autopilot. I think we're supposed to cross the bridge. Not be over here. That's not right. Alright, Polly Cross. I'm still blown away that I just stabbed that dude through the bars. <laughs> I just killed him. And the guy's like, what the hell? He's like, you're a great ward. Doesn't mean you're just going to attack anybody willy-nilly. I'm like, he was coming at me. I, uh, He had a knife. <laughs> I was just defending myself. He's like, alright, fair enough. <laughs> okay, he bought it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so wild to me. Alright, here we go. This kick-ass cutscene. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Let's cross the bridge okay. and get to the tower of his shop. I agree, let's go. The cutscene is so fucking cool, dude. It's so fucking cool. Oh, uh, but not too fast. That's why. Let's say, get away from the things to get destroyed. I don't wanna. Oh, the fucking statue. Good night. There's the other one. Alright. <laughs> I like how I knew where the explosions are, <laughs> and I waited till each one happened so I wouldn't get knocked over. 
They're everywhere. He plays this game a lot. <laughs> you, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Yeah. Alright, so we've gained some more temporary peons. Okay, just want to verify. Well, why the hell can I go all the way down here? Good lord. Is there anything over here? Probably not, right? It's just for the for the fluff. No guess. It's very weird. Very far from the objective. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why I'm even allowed to be over here. But there's nothing over here. Oh, death root. <laughs> and I thought there was nothing over here. Yeah, there's like there's no chest or anything. It's just there was one death root. That was it. That was all that was over here. Interesting. Okay, moving on. We don't have time for all that. Darkspawn took the tower, which we weren't expecting. And we're gonna have to take it back. The good news is it means Alistair and I are gonna get some action, so. Better than having this lame-o job of flicking a switch and nothing else. Let's go! Get him! Slay them all. Oh, hang on, there's more. But over this way, I was already looking for loot. Kill him. Okay. Got that. Got the death root. Now, somewhere over here, there's a chest hidden behind one of these walls. Obviously, it's not that one, but it's behind over here somewhere, so... There's a... There's a couple of chests with some lame-o items. A little bit of money. Maybe it's up behind this one where the... Because somewhere there's a locked chest. Maybe it's behind that one. We'll see. It's over here somewhere. I'll find it. How dare it. Deleted. Alrighty. What? No, I was way the hell over here. I couldn't be farther away. I'm going down. Prepare to die, clown. Get stunned, idiot. Then prepare for backstabbery. Absolutely decimated. Okay. But seriously. Not that one. Hmm. I swore it was over here somewhere, but. Maybe not. Wouldn't happen to be anything tucked up here, eh? No. Well, there is some loot from the dead guys. Oh, he had a health item. That was good. It's really paranoid. I'm gonna be missing a locked chest. Which I swore was down here somewhere. But clearly not, because I am not blind. Plus, I did explore a lot of this already. Alright, clearly not. Oh. Gotta take the stairs, it's too steep. Which it looks really steep, I just for some reason thought she was gonna do it. And it's not behind this one. Okay. I'll move on then. After I get my get my death root. Oh, there's a lock chest over here. It is over. It is over. Oops. 
It is over. The Tower of Ishala. Let's go. We gotta take it back, bro. Because uh, this is a necessary part of the plan. And we can't afford to not have the tower be lit. That would be turbo not good. It's a trap. Look there, a cunning trap. I've disarmed it. Dead. What's up? Got him. Okay. The tap. So it's worth finished. grabbing that lock picking right away, dude. So worth it. Imagine if I waited till we had Liliana. All these chests I would be missing. Dead. Ah, oh, there's an archer hiding in the back. Like a little bitch. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Ooh, there was a gift in that one. Nice. Okay. Let's see. I don't feel like... Yeah, that's where we were. Okay. This way it is, then. It's begun. Play him. Deleted. Now. So much good experience from all the chess. Alrighty. Very nice. Second floor. We are doing good. Make us breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Uh. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyrone Logain will be waiting for the signal. Indeed. But say, and we get to fight now. Isn't this exactly what we wanted? We were bitching that we weren't going to get to fight, you know? You bitched first and I backed you up because I agreed. I am done. That's so good. So much good experience. And loot. It does a little loot goblin like me happy, you know? Alright, uh, Alistair. Brother. My brother in Christ. We have so much going on. So that's just a crap dagger. We don't need that. I want the long bow so we can get rid of both of the short bows. Um, I don't need either of the little short shields because he has a big shield that's much better. Keeping that for the waifu. Now, Alistair, this is the part I wanted to see. Yeah, his is like this big fancy... Yeah, we can get rid of that. Okay, what else we got? And then of course that's her set that I'm keeping and then mage stuff what I'm keeping. And he's already wearing stuff. Okay better. Just had to do some sorting. I've been doing lots of looting. Maybe let's uh, kill the guys on the other side first, huh? That doesn't matter. They all rushed out anyway. Don't worry about them. I'm gonna get this guy.
All right. There was a lot of guys in that little group there. Okay. All right. Okay, just they had some potions, nothing insane. Some health items, very good. Always useful. Injury kit, always also useful. Discarded book. What now? Okay, those are some boots. And what level? So I'm wearing Dalish boots, which are a, a scotch worse on the armor, but they do give me plus three defense, so I'll probably just save those for the waifu. Although these other ones are the same thing, really, so I guess we'll just get rid of them. Because the other ones I have, I like the, the bonuses, and I don't think a point, whatever, two five armor is worth taking a minus, taking a... You know, missing the bonuses to defense. Maybe I'm wrong, but I also don't think we're on a difficulty where it matters very much. So, you know. I'm gonna hit you with my new ability. Oh, sick. You, like, run him through. That's neat, though. There's a crappy little short bow. The good news is, of course, is uh, whether I know I'll use it or not, all these, all this gear is uh, good to sell. So, great way of making money, and of course the knowledge that you didn't miss anything. Which also feels very good. Alright, we are on the third floor. What's funny is that little stat that thing, be be the little stat thing said the most powerful enemy slain was Gazarath, which was the demon name of that demon I killed in the wilds. And he wasn't very tough. We absolutely annihilated him. And it's because I was standing behind him, backstabbing him. And I hit, I got like 80% of his health down before he could even do anything. The king is depending on us. So, you know. And so it was just funny that we just absolutely annihilated that guy. Like in just a few seconds, you know. So. Wasn't as hard as he, as he would have been otherwise. Doesn't matter. There's no loot in the first room anyway. All that. Back here, you coward. No running from that. Okay. I was just curious if you could junk something right from the menu, but I don't think there's a way. And it's just a crappy gray iron mace, so. Won't be better than Alice's weapon. Lever. Oh, that lever. Double up. And I got some crits there. War paint of the Warhound. Sick. Okay. Uh, level up first. So, there we go. I got my 20 strength and Master Coercion. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and go dual striking, which is a sustained. In this mode, strikes with both weapons simultaneously. More damage, but the character cannot inflict regular crits or backstabs. Good lord. So you lose backstabs, but depending on the enemy, it might be nice to use because you're not getting backstabs anyway. Depending on the enemy. Okay, and then we also got some loot. Uh, let's see, it wasn't in there. That's another one of those, there's the longbow. Oh, it was a little shield, that's what it was. What up? I shall do it. Back As you say. Oh. I almost got there before it disappeared. I shall 
deleted. Level up for Alistair. Nice. Oh, I also means I can put on the that fancy armor, by the way. Which we will do after we level up Alistair. Alistair, bro. Alright, you need that. I'm gonna give you more willpower as well. And give you master level combat training. Okay, he's not level for that, so I guess we'll go ahead and pop down here and give him shield defense. Which is very nice. And then I can go over here and put on this, which is way better, obviously. It's uh, super juiced. I don't I lose my really, really pretty Dalish stuff, but but that's okay, because I can give my pretty Dalish stuff to my waifu. And it's only a little bit worse than what the other one was, so she can wear the pretty Dalish stuff. And I get to wear the Battle Dress of the Provocateur, or however you pronounce it, which is a insane level of armor increase to have so early. Insane. Alright. Some good stuff there. Always happy to see health and uh, injury kits. There's another chest. There go, some more aid items. There's some more. Alright, open sesame. Sup, bitches. He's dead. So is he. Okay. He had a health item. Where's the chest? Finished. With a crap helmet that I went that I don't need. Okay. And a bow, which is good. I'm running out of help space though. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the space now. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, so this one is uh, tier one of what he's already having, so. We don't care about that. Probably gonna have to destroy some items though. My inventory's looking mighty full. Large, large ogre. Not good. I think you can backstab an ogre. It is yep, you sure can. Mad backstabs. Ow. I'm absolutely decimating him, dude. Stunned. Dead. Get out of his body, you two. Yeah, no loot on the ogre. The over here. There we go. Surely the beacon is over here. I know. Get out of his body so I can loot him. Thank you. Soul rot bomb, which I can't have. Shit. Okay. Hang on. I we gotta destroy some. Sp I need some space. Junk. Okay. Uh, go ahead and destroy this. Just like the really crap stuff that's like a one-off kind of thing. Uh, that might be fancier. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that gets me to 77. Go ahead and do that too. There we go. It Almost. It is begun. Almost. I need one more item destroyed. There we go. Throw that too. Got it. Alright, hit it. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out! All of you, let's move. Uncool. Super duper, super duper evil. 
That's why I'm going to kill you. Him up, Duncan. Like the beacon was lit, and Loki just didn't show, so my wardens didn't fail. Rip. I didn't like him, but he didn't he didn't deserve to die necessarily. Oh god, I've been shot. I mean, you know, I didn't like him, but you know. I don't I don't know if death was necessary. I mean at the same time, he was kind of a tool and he did kill other people that didn't deserve it, so I don't know. It's still kind of tragic all the same. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Sup? Uh, I remember you, the girl from the wilds. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten. And we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Uh, I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though t'was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Hmm. Uh, my friend, you mean Alistair? The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Uh, uh... Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. I will go, then. I will stay. And make something to eat. Right, right. Crappy little shield, which is fine, I don't actually need it. Whether I can loot it or not doesn't matter. And of course Impossible. I can't do that, because you need a key. Okay. Alright, then I'm out of here. I've got to empty my inventory, dude. It's so freaking full. Alistair, you live. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Uh... Well, he does, he sound worried, so maybe this is the ice starting to break on my character's heart? I'm fine, I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? 
Davoth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Uh, why? So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Hmm. The land is hardly united thanks to Logan. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Mm. We should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. Right. What could the Terran hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Arl Eamon, is that someone important? Uh, maybe I should say, perhaps we should go to him then. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Uh. Let's see. Surely there are other allies we could call on. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Um... Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then. Ready to be Grey Wardens. Uh, as ready as we'll ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard what? me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Uh, let's see. Very well, we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. It'll be fine. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds is our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Like my wife. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Mm. I have no problems with your presence if Alistair doesn't. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all help we can get. I guess you're right. 
The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. I think we should just get underway. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, it is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Yes, do try to have fun. Hey, plus two and plus four right out the gate, dude. Let's freaking go. All right, we get all, all of our quests. Nice. Okay, uh, Morrigan. Uh, let's see. Where, where is your... Is that... Did I, did I trash that? Was that, was it that Garbo? Oh, well, I'm in the junk, so... <laughs> That would probably explain it. Alright, um, so she's using tier 3, it's tier 2. Yeah, it's it's not as good, so we can just get rid of that. And I'm kind of contemplating carrying Morrigan for this. For this, I, I was going to carry Win, but I'm picturing carrying Win, and it makes me want to die. She's such a nag, dude. So I'm a little bit tempted to carry Morrigan. I mean, I don't know, I could just carry Win. I don't know, I'm torn on who I'm carrying. But some part of me is like, if I do carry Morgan, I'll have to just keep her affection alive with gifts. I'm gonna have to use the gifts to cheat, to keep her affection up, because she's never gonna be happy with most of the things I do. And so it's like, it's not gonna work. Oh yeah, hers is better. Still though, this is really juiced. And so I'm, I'm thinking, like, I don't know how long it's gonna be till I carry Win. So I sort of need Morgan at least at first, whether I carry Win long term or not. So I guess I'll go ahead and give her that, because I was the willpower, the spell power, the mental resist, and then it has blood magic too, but we don't we're not using blood magic. But it does mean it matters. She doesn't have shoes, but we can give her this, because she can wear the those, which is nice. And she doesn't have gloves, but I'm carrying that set for the waifu. So this is Morrigan's robes, but the one I have clothes for which are much better but they're not gonna look nearly as good <laughs> nope so they don't look nearly as good but boy did, but boy are they good and willpower mental resist i had to give her a hat but oh god Ugh. you know what i don't think she needs a hat i actually don't think that it actually matters <laughs> i think it's fine actually i i don't think that's fine i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one get rid of these chastened robes i'll keep that i guess maybe for win i maybe good lord <laughs> so bad dude God, it looks so bad. I think she can just wear the robe and I'll deal with that and the rest of it's fine. Good lord. All right. Let's go, Morgan. I need some kind of magic user healer and for now, you're all I got. All right. To Lothering. But first, there's an interruption. There it is. Is this the story thing about? Yeah. Yup. Denerim, the capital. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Yikes. It's not good. Van Tegan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? 
Yeah, I don't think so. He certainly didn't. He certainly didn't. Meanwhile... Morgan, I'm so sorry. Those robes are good, but god, they do not look as cool as your regular clothes. But I have no choice. Those stats are so much better. Hello, puppy. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Kill them. Dead. Give him a good kick. You okay, puppy? He wags his tail happily in pants. Uh, these darkspawn didn't hurt you, did they, boy? I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. I know. I've always wanted a dog like this. Maybe it's meant to be. <coughs> didn't happen to have a chance to have a dog in the in the woods. <coughs> He bounces around you, barking excitedly. Pet the dog. Hell yeah. He's so cute. In a I can rip your throat out kind of way. I love it. Alright, his name is not Dog, but the name I always give him. He is always Max to me. Rest in peace, my dog Max. I miss him. Alright. Now with Max in tow, we are ready. Moving on. And we have our fourth companion, at least for a bit. At least for a little bit. Keyword being on a little bit. But, you know, for now. Alright, I do know that we are going to be working pretty much quickly to get the waifu. Because she is very close to being recruited. And, uh, I, of course, I'm all about it. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. What's wrong with that, uh, you racist fuck? They don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. I know. Bunch they are of, fools to get in their way. I say, teach them a lesson. I agree. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. Uh, you should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. We're all armed, actually. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Uh, forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. You can certainly try. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to let, let him live. I could talk them out of it, but why? Dead. We surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dark spawn get us all. Oh, you surrender. You picked the wrong target. Yes, yes, of course. We should have been more careful. I'm sorry. Uh. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chests we brought. I swear. The. Uh... Now you die. It's all you deserve. I'm not going down without a fight. You're getting killed. You're a dog and an animal. And, and you're dead. Yeah. 
now they're all dead. Serves them right. Alright. And now they're all dead. Oh, god dang it. God dang it, dude. Alright, I need... Something gone. Something cheap and shitty. I guess that's shitty enough. Give it. Okay. Um, so that's the junk. Let's see. So I'm keeping that. I don't need the, the flat blade now. Because the only... Th well, I don't know. I guess I could keep it because I could give it to What's-His-Face. We're not long from recruiting him, so... I don't need these gloves, though, likely. Yeah, that's what he's already using, so we can just trash those. There, scumbags. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. For now. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Uh, what did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Uh, we should try to use those treaties, I presume. I agree. Have you looked at them? Yes, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Uh, I already know, of course, where to find all these guys. My clan has already fled north. We won't find them. There must be other Dalish in Ferelden. In fact, I'm sure of it. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. Right. I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Um. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Logain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yeah, there is a plan. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. And it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Right. Yeah, there's a, there's a good plan. Why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. That's fair. All right, I'm ready. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. He's a follower. He doesn't like to lead. Nothing wrong with that. Until I make him king, of course. <laughs> and then that's going to be a problem. <laughs> but hey, for now, you can just chill in the background, bro. I totally get that. No, no, no harm done, you know? I, I totally get that. So let's talk about your mother from moment God dang it, dude. Fuck. There's so much shit. I'm so close. I just need something destroyed. And something really crappy. There you go. That's really crappy. There. Trade it for really crappy. And of course, we're still just trashing them right away. And there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. <gasps> you did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Right. You know, they're playing nice as always. Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. Wow, fuck you, dude. Uh, you have something against elves? I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? 
We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. Uh, I could I could make trouble for you, human. Is that what you want? Uh, no. Beg pardon and all. I should mind my manners. That's what I thought. Now piss off. Don't let me stop you. Much better. Now I'll go. Thank you. Be little shit. <laughs> Fuck you, man. If you're looking for safe, move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Doesn't look very lost. Uh, what do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm surprised you're helping the refugees at all when you could just be killing mages. Um, thanks for the warning. Best of luck wherever you might go. He was just giving me a warning. He's not telling me to get lost or anything. Like, it's fine. It's just. Oh, let me uh save. It's been a little bit. I mean, it's been a long bit. I just, you know, just in case. Ooh. God damn it! <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to pick that up. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Uh, why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. She's probably right about that. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Can you beat that offer, sister? You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. Uh, it's time for you all, time for you to go then, isn't it? You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. I don't care about any of you schmucks, I just want the money. Absolutely, off you go. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice, I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Yeah, well. <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Uh, and a discount. Right. Fair enough. But only you. That's better. This way. Alright. I need to sell my shit. <laughs> that was like the number one reason I, I helped him. <laughs> That's just so I could have access to his store and sell my shit. It's like the number one reason. You wouldn't have to have unique things, would you? Uh, just, just a little gift. Which I have the money for. I'll just buy it. Okay, mostly no. I mean, the answer is no. He doesn't have, like, insane or unique things. Mostly that's just what I needed. I just really needed to sell my shit. So Alistair's not going to like that, but of course, I don't care. Okay. So much better. Good lord. Alistair didn't like it. Morgan did. But whatever. I needed access to his shit, so. What? Now. Okay, we can go ahead and just probably junk that dagger right out the gate. Hey. Hello, friend. Care to do this? Alright, I have one more thing to sell. Okay. The charters are Take that. Still operating their board. How that And Eileen spoke unto the masses, my heart. Greetings? Smile back. Let all rip He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. What's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon right. his parents and onto the maker. So if I wanted to thatch a roof, I talked to him? There's all sorts of things on his board. Even traveling swords sometimes turn in postings. So he really can't speak at all? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen right. temple. <laughs> Maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say to that? The word. Right. Well, look, look. I don't get none of that means anything to me. I am. I'm Elvish. We have our own thing going on with that. 
We have our own gods, so I don't believe in the maker and any of that garbage, but, you know. Alright, uh, we don't need the helmet. I can tell you that for free. And what was this? Willpower. I'll take it, because I matter more than my friends. And Morgan is already wearing something, and of course the doll can't wear anything. Oh, wait, I should see, though. Didn't I pick up a... Yes, I did. Damage versus boost. Now he has sick... Now he has sick paint. Hell yeah. Okay. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. Whoa. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now Jesus. than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. Oh my god. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? All right. Um, is no one going to shut this madman up? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I ain't scared of his axe. I watched the black horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. Ah. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Uh, don't be a fool. Darkspawn can be defeated. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot fight. Uh, standing around and shouting won't save you. There is nothing to do. No hope is left. Uh... Could you cluck like a chicken when you do that? Are you calling me a coward? I know dogs made of sterner stuff than you. I... I am shamed. But the monsters will take you all. The blackness will come! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Uh... <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I couldn't care less. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. I mean, do something. Like, standing around here screaming that we're all gonna die is not helping. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Here's hoping, bro. Here's hoping. Alright, we gotta... I'm trying to keep the inventory a little clear. I got enough crap going on as it is. Okay, we're not going in there first. I gotta go recruit the waifu. She's my, by far, the most important thing. So, we are working our way straight to her. Hang on, I'm just... Check it. Ooh, look at that. There was a gift. Checking these first. Then I'm gonna talk to the elvish people. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask... Might you be able to spare some bread? Uh, what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Good lord. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. True. Surely you understand. I do understand. These people are awful. I met those bandits. They're dead now. You killed them? Yup. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Hang in there, my friends. I'm sorry for your losses. And I'm extra kind to you guys, because I'm also an elf. I love you. Alright. I help my own people. Child. Have you seen my mother? I remember the quote from the thing. No, I'm not your mother. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Depends. Who's your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Not good. Uh, do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's coming, child. 
Uh, I don't think she meant to leave you. But she must be coming. Uh, you can't stand here forever. What if she doesn't show? I don't know. Maybe I should go home and look for her. Uh, no, don't do that. Then what should I do? I have nowhere to go. And I'm hungry. Go to the Chantry, child. Someone will look after you. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. So, um, are you really an elf? Yes, why do you ask? Father says elves aren't very nice, but you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. I mean, it was a child. I know he's a Shem, but me he's a Mark. child. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. <laughs> oh god, the PTSD. What happened to the king is so terrible. Hello, my friend. I'm just gonna loot behind you. Okay, what's up? Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Can't help you. I... Alright, uh, hang on. I'll be right back. I gotta recruit Liliana. She knows how to make traps, I think. Or was it poisons? Shit. <laughs> I don't know. She, she might know. Hang on. I can't I can help. I gotta recruit this. I gotta, gotta recruit the waifu first. I swear. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were not. I just walked into town. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. My love. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Um, I don't need your help, miss. Please stand back. You don't need my protection. But these men will blindly follow their master's command even unto death. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> Alright, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I don't want them reporting to Logan. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. They were going to kill us. But they failed. And I do not wish death on anyone. Uh... Then give them a final prayer, sister. <laughs> then they can take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? Uh... He'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I appreciate what you tried to do. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothering. Oh, I was. What does that mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest. Not even an initiate. I am Elena, a pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people. Shut here. up, Alistair. <laughs> they are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Hmm. Uh, very well. I'll not turn away help when it's offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. 
Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. I know you won't, babe. All right. Indeed. My love is here with us now. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so, we have some things to fix. My darling. She needs real gear. And it's much... Well, I mean, the actual leather is better, but the defense, and it's not that big of a difference. So we'll go ahead and get rid of all that. Okay, and then I have two to choose from. So she's actually already wearing, she's wearing a cunning, which is good. Which is probably better than anything I could give her there. And for the most part, I'm gonna have her use a bow, so she can have the long bow. Very nice. And I think I will... She's wearing an enchanted dagger, which is actually better. Oh, that's tier two, so this is actually... Okay, so she can have this on her backup, and then we can go ahead and move these to junk. Not that I actually want her to be to be using much else, to be honest. Oh, that's heavy chain. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and I think the rest of them are already wearing stuff. Nice. Nice. Okay, um, really quick. So, Liliana. Tactics. Archer ranged I think is what I need so range, uh, prefers ranged weapons and will automatically attack from range when enemies are visible if attacked in melee the character will fight back but will not chase enemies they have to move away will flee the location of a harmful area of effect okay good so now she's gonna be ranged that's her focus Alistair so defender I think default's probably fine is probably fine what's the what is the default so default um Will not attack enemies when visible and will engage enemies only on the player's command. If, play, if attacked in melee combat, the character will fight back and will then try to chase enemies if they move away. The party member will flee the location of harmful area of effect. That's fine. Okay. And then Morrigan. I actually want you on supporter. I actually think I'm going to have her that's preferable. Let's see. Controller. Debilitator. I think supporter, because I, I realize that normally she does damager. Maybe supporter for now, because she doesn't have very many healing spells. So I might bump her to healer, um, you know. So I think we might go have her be supporter for now, because really that is the mage's job. I'm having her on support. You know what I mean? All right, what up? You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Out of food? A whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tales, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my lot of two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Don't worry about him, I took care of it. You, you can did? say. Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. All right. Uh, sell the junk. Oh, hey, you really quick. Right. You wouldn't gear, happen... So. Do you have anything unique? He has fancy stuff. Has some gifts, which I'll take all of. Nice. Right. I got okay, other uh, gear, so. know of any well-paying work in Lothering? Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> no... Don't suppose you know anything about, uh, poison? Uh, poison? I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. See what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Okay. So now he has that. Just gonna poke around real quick. Okay, iron ring is not worth anything. Heavy gloves. There's another ring to sell. Blowing through really quick. Hang on. Hey. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Anything I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. 
With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. How can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taura, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Mm hmm. Letter from the Irregulars. Go ahead and take these. Alright, making sure there's nothing else. Okay. Let's go. Alright, let's run across the street to the, to the traps lady. Let's see if maybe I can, maybe if Lil, I, th I thought Liliana knew something about poisons and traps and things, but I also could be out of my mind. It's a little hard to say. Alright, hey, lady over here. Oh, her quest is gone. So I know I shouldn't have clicked on it. A witch of the Kukari was. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. <laughs> but sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about. Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, oh. using them till they were spent oh my God. and killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. Good Lord. I... um, I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Good Lord. No wonder Morgan's so mean. She's, uh... She's, you know... She's been through it. She has some serious PTSD. The task is finished. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Are you taken care of? Uh, actually, I was hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I I don't, but my friend does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best. But we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Hmm. I don't suppose Have I could just finding herbs in the woods. Uh this there you will go. help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Yay. Okay. Beautiful. Well, that'll be a good place to call it. We managed just to we managed to pick up the waifu, made it to Lothering, did all the Ostagar stuff. Super good episode. And uh, and now the team is assembled. So for now, this will probably be the squad, and maybe for the rest of the game. It depends on if I decide to actually carry Morgan for realsies or or not. Um, if I decide that that I mean, like I said, I could easily abuse the gifts to keep her affection alive. And if I decide that, that that's worth doing, then we will carry her. If I decide that it's not worth it, we could try carrying Wynn, but the last time I carried Wynn was, granted, a lot of years ago now, but the last time I carried Wynn, I found her to be a nag and really annoying. And so I never carry Wynn, but but maybe, maybe she's not as bad as I remember. Um, maybe she's not as bad as I remember. So uh, we will see who we end up carrying, um, but uh, for now, Morgan is the only option we have. And so we will carry her, and we'll keep her affection alive with gifts as soon as we can. And... Um, and that that'll be fine. And then we maybe we'll end up switching later. We'll see. Um, if I do plan on carrying her, I probably should do the mages circle earlier rather than later. Even though my natural inclination is to ignore the mages as long as possible, because the fade section kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. I really don't like the fade section, and so most people don't. And so uh, and so if I was gonna get, actually get Win and try to carry her in the party, I might should go to her earlier rather than later to ensure we could get the mage of the actual party sooner. Um, and, and, and maybe, maybe Wynn is not as bad as I remember. And some part of me really wants to, just wants to try just to see if she is, is as annoying as I thought. 
um, as I thought when I was younger. So, if nothing else, it would be easier to probably keep her affection alive than Morgan's, because Morgan is kind of a hater. So, that could be good. But at least now we have the waifu, and, uh, and that's it. That's nice. Also, she's a little taller than me. Now, I don't think it's the shoes. I don't feel like her shoes have that much height to them. So, I think she's just taller than me. Interesting. Anyway, but that, oh, that's going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet. <laughs> there, you go first. He's like, I think it's clear, man. You're good. As the great Bob Ross would say, what a happy accident. Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> no, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> that was so perfect.